What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you're returning, I am so glad you're here. Either way, my name is Rebecca. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about plants that I think you just might need in your life. These are plants that I'm loving right now and I think you might love also. Um, if you're interested in this kind of thing, I also have another video that I posted a while back called Basic Plants. If you're a beginner, you're just starting out, you wanna check out some plants to maybe start out your collection, go ahead and watch that video. Um, but for now, let's get into this one. friend Gerard over at Gerard's Horticulture Culture shouted me out in a video so kind of him it was very sweet it made me blush I had to pause it because I was so embarrassed by how sweet he was being talking about my channel and my videos and it was just really cool so if you get a chance check out Gerard's Horticulture Culture he's very knowledgeable he's got a lot of really great advice and he's got a really impressive collection of plants much more impressive than mine I honestly so go check him out go show him some love and tell him that I sent you yeah let's get into these plants that I'm just loving loving so much all right so to start we're gonna start with Monstera Deliciosa yes as classic as it gets I have here a baby Monstera Deliciosa in this pot that I really love my friend Dory gave this to me for Christmas love her and love this plant, it's been a long time since I've had a baby Monstera Deliciosa. Um, I always, I just go for the big ones. I go for the huge Monsteras. Um, this is a cute little baby though, and I love it because I can really, it's thriving, it's already starting to sprawl out, so I might even have to stake it already? I don't know. She's thriving, she's got new growth there, and she's got some new growth there, and she's living her best life in this beautiful, cute little pot. Other, not I wanna say on the other end of the spectrum, mid-spectrum as far as size goes, is this Monstera Deliciosa that I propagated from some cuttings. Um, I had another huge Monstera plant that I don't have anymore because I sold it or gave it to somebody, but I propagated these two stalks. Ooh, almost dropped it. Um, and how about this pot? Oh, give me the dirt, baby. She's thriving, look at this new leaf. Check her out. Stunting. Next. All right, so this is a Peperomia obtusifolia. This um, variegation is apparently called a golden gate. Like, look at the pattern, if I can pull focus. If I can focus. I love the pattern on the leaves. I just think that's gorgeous. This plant is low key indestructible. I have abused the heck out of a peperomia and it bounces back. I don't even say it bounces back. I don't even notice really that it struggles. She struggles in silence, you guys. She just, she's aware. She does great. So peperomia obtusifolia, this is called the golden gate. Let's move on to the next one. All right, tried, tried and true, Brazil. Who doesn't love a Brazil? Got this at Pigment, which with Pigment, I feel like it's kind of hit or miss. First of all, love that place, love that place. The whole vibe, the whole aesthetic is like it's gorgeous. But their plants, I feel sometimes like it's a little hit or miss with their plants. Um, definitely hit or miss. This plant was actually on the struggle bus when I bought it, but it's doing well. I definitely repotted, which I don't recommend repotting when you first buy your plants. I feel like people get their plants and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna put it in this like super cool, like like eclectic uh, pot that I bought at like the farmer's market. And like, no, when you get your plants, nine times out of 10, they should stay right in that nursery pot for some time, like a long time. Um, unless they're seriously, seriously root bound, keep them, I know I'm ranting a little bit, but keep them in that nursery pot. I took mine out of that nursery pot because I felt like the soil was kind of whack and it just was not, like she wasn't living her best life. Like she 
she needed something new. Like, am I preaching? Um, she needed a new pot. So I went ahead and gave her another pot, but I made sure I kept it at the same size. It was just to give her some new soil. So anyway, I didn't mean to rant about my baby, um, Brazil, but um, she's doing okay now. Although honestly, she could use some water. I'm sorry. These next two plants, if you don't have one or both of these in your collection, what are you doing? This is a ZZ plant, just a regular green ZZ plant. Um, I really, I honestly, I'm pretty sure I just bought this for the basket it was in because cute and I love mustard yellow. I just love it. She's doing okay. This is her cousin, the ZZ Raven. She, um, she dark, she's lovely, she's delicious. She is all the things. Look at her thriving. Look at her thriving, you guys. She's got this beautiful, she's, she's got beautiful new growth here. Um, the new growth, if you don't know, on a ZZ Raven, the new growth is bright green and it turns black. I'm so sorry. It turns black as it matures. She's she's loving life. She's doing great. Um, this was a super lucky buy. I found this at Walmart for like $16. No lie. I know. I know. You look online, they're like $50, $60, $16. And she has sprouted this new sprout, this new sprout, this new sprout, and I think there's another one down here somewhere. Um yeah, she's she's gonna be a beast and she's getting pampered. She's getting all the humidity, all the light she wants, like, she's getting it. Okay, the next plant I'm gonna talk about, I definitely talked about in my basic plant video. Um, I can't even show you this whole babe in this frame. Um, look at her, she is living, she is growing. When I showed this plant in my basic plants video, it was about to here. And then she has grown all of this since I, you know what, she's grown all this extra growth since I got a humidifier and grow lights. That's another video, but sis, get you some. This is my Hoya Carry or Hoya Carii. I'm really curious who says what and how and why and those um, plant names that have two eyes at the end, do you say just I or do you say E-I, <laughs> E-I-O? Like Hoya Carii or Hoya, Hoya Carry? Do you say Monstera Adansonii or Monstera Adansonii? You know what I mean? Like, I'm just curious, just curious. Just just tea talk, really. I say carry eye. Uh, look at all these hearts. Look at it, it's like a tunnel of hearts and she's gorgeous. She's growing new ones. She's, she's happy. Teach me. I'm crazy, you guys. Okay, so this is a Exotica. I am not ashamed to say this is my favorite plant. Oh, look at that, she spilled. Look at that, she spilled and I still love her. Exotica, she is trailing, she is gorgeous, she is happy. Uh, these used to be so inexpensive and then it was like, as the world, honestly, I feel like as the world has shut down, like people have gotten obsessed with plants, the prices have gone crazy. All of us who have been loving plants for a while, low key hate you guys who just, <laughs> we don't hate you. But we do despise you a little bit. You guys have driven the prices up so much with your needing all the plants. But I understand, I do understand. No, I'm happy. I'm happy you love plants now. I am. The last plant I'm gonna talk to you about, it, no, oh, stop, hold on, oh, wait, hold on, second to last, second to last plant I'm gonna talk to you about is my Trivii Moonlight. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I probably am not. This is a Moonlight. 
and this was the biggest of this plant that I was willing to spend money on. This plant is kind of expensive. I don't know how much I spent for this bit. Mm, I don't remember, but this plant can get a little pricey if you go for a full size one. But it's gorgeous. I can't wait till it really starts to grow, grow. This little sprout that you see right here has been sitting there just like this for an embarrassing amount, like, like a month. No. Yeah, like a month, and it just hasn't like come out. Like, let's go, babe. You're done. You're done. Come out into the world. Okay, now for real, for real, the last plant I'm gonna talk about because I'm tired. I have to be up at five in the morning. Um, is my croton. I'm gonna cut to some B-roll right here. Um, this is the croton that lives out on my porch that I will probably bring inside now. Um, she's red, she's yellow, she's fiery, she's fierce, um, she's almost as tall as me. Um, that my croton, um, she's kicking it. Um, I got her at Home Depot. Why did I buy, I, you know what, I was looking for a background I've been working on my background, which it's it's a work in progress, you guys. Like, it's, we're just gonna have to play with it. Um, I got it because I wanted it to be a background for my videos because I really love the color of it. And it's so funny, I was looking at this plant and no lie, this guy rolled up and was just like, as I was looking at the plant, I was like all squatted down, like trying to like check it out and look at the leaf, like doing my whole thing. And this guy pops over and was like, that plant matches your skin tone. And then just walked away and I was like, you're creepy AF, but you know what? I'm getting this plant. <laughs> like, I was already thinking that, you know what I mean? And you just confirmed it, like, heaven spoke. I got that plant, and she's here, and she's she's doing all right. I do forget to water it a lot, but it seems to be okay. The leaves kind of like do this thing when they're not happy, when I'm not giving her the love and attention that she needs. But um, once I water it, like, we're good. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to show you. Honestly, it's late and I think I'm gonna wrap it up. If you haven't already, go check out Gerard's Horticulture Culture. <laughs> I don't know why, like every time I say that, I'm like that, that, that. Very sweet guy. Um, yeah, he's great, super great human. Follow him, subscribe to him, show him some love, at least pop by, check out a video of his and tell him that I sent you. Just do that. Appreciate you guys, thank you for watching this video. I, I, did I already say I appreciate you? I did, like 17 times. I will see you in the next video. Might be a plant video, might be a travel video, might be just like an Adventure Time Kick It With Me video. We shall see. But for now, I hope you have an amazing night and I will see you in the next one. Peace.